Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to export your worksheets and your Google spreadsheets into individual CSV files. So here I have a Google spreadsheet. In this file, I have four different worksheets. And I only want to export sheet one, sheet two, and sheet three to their individual CSV files. Now let's go to uh, our Python editor. So I'm going to start by importing the Google module. And from the Google module, I'm going to import the create service function. And you can download the source code from the link in the description below. So there are a couple ways we can export individual uh, worksheets to CSV files. Uh, one method is using the uh, Google Drive API. And the second method is actually, uh, for me personally, is the, uh, it's the easier method. So here I'm going to import the pandas library. Next, I'm going to create a function called run batch update request. And this function takes three parameters, service object, Google sheet ID, and the request body JSON representation. All right, so inside the function, I'm going to insert a try except block. And it's going to be exception a C. Inside the exception block, I'm going to print the error message and to return the value as none. Now let's go back to the uh, try block. So from the service object or service argument, I want to reference the spreadsheet's uh, method that batch update. And you'll need to type that as Q. The batch update uh, method takes two parameters. So the first parameter is the spreadsheet ID. And the value is going to be coming from Google Sheet ID. The second parameter is the body parameter. And the value is coming from request body JSON argument. Oh, I forgot to uh, save the output response. And here I'm going to return the response object. So this function is going to be the function that I'll be using later on to run multiple different API requests. Now let's prepare the information we need to make the API call. So here let me insert my code snipper. And for the scope, it's going to be uh, the spreadsheet scope. Oh, actually I can delete this one. And this should be client.json uh, file. For the API service name, it's going to be Sheets. And right now we are using version four of the uh, Google Sheets API. Right, so I'm going to highlight this code block. I'm going to run the code. And since that I cannot locate the client secret file, take a look. So mine is a uh, uh, dash. Let me try again. All right, so here I'm going to authenticate my account. Click on events and click on the link to proceed. Now we need to grant permission to the uh, Python program. All right, so we have successfully um, connect to the Google Sheets API service. All right, so the first thing first, we need to uh, grab all the worksheets from the uh, Google Sheets file. And to do that, I need to grab the Google Sheets ID. And here I'm going to create a constant variable called Google Sheet ID. I'll create the uh, Google Sheet ID variable. All right, so this is going to be array worksheets. From the uh, service object, dot spreadsheets, dot gets, I'm going to provide my Google Sheet ID to the uh, spreadsheet ID parameter. And this is going to be my Google Sheet ID that I execute. 
and it should be service. I'll name the output as uh, G Sheets. Now if I print the G Sheets object, and it's what the uh, output is going to look like. And to locate the worksheets, we want to locate the, uh, the sheet ID. So this is the, the block that I'm looking for. If we examine the sheets value, the output is actually a list. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an object called sheets. And from G sheets, I want to reference the sheets ID. Sure, not ID. I want to reference the sheets key. Now the sheets object will only contain the uh, worksheets information. Now what I can do is I can iterate each element in the sheets object. So I'm going to see that for sheet in sheets. I want to ignore the master worksheet. So here I can say that if sheets properties and followed by the worksheet title is not equals to master. They want to grab the data set. So from service object that spreadsheets. And I want to use the values method. That gets. And you need to type that as a queue. To return the values embedded to a worksheet. So we need to provide the spreadsheet ID. And the cell range. So for the cell range, we can simply provide the uh, worksheet name. So from properties, title, this will return the worksheet name. Unless if you have a specific uh, cell range that you want to uh, you want to use, then in that case you want to uh, concatenate the worksheet name with the explanation symbol followed by the cell range address. Then for the major dimension, I'm going to set that to rows. All right, so once I have the data set in a nest list, so I can use the uh, pandas library, and I'll create a data frame object. I'll pass the data set. So I need to uh, reference the values key. I'll name the output as df. Now let me put a break right here. So I'm going to run this loop first. Oops, here I saying that this in dice must be integers. Let's take a look. Oh, this should be singular. Now if I print the data set, we have a dictionary with three keys, range, major dimension, and values. The values key is going to return a nest list, and the first element is going to be the count headers. If I print the data frame object, I'll go into the top. My first row value is actually the count headers. I want to take uh, these three values as the count header. So what I can do is, here, let's go back. So I can update the counts first by referencing the first row. Then I can delete the first row. So by using the drop method, I'll reference the first row values. I'll set the in place value to two. Now I can export the data set to a CSV file. So for the file name, I'm going to use the uh, the worksheet name. So it's going to be sheet properties title. And since the result is going to always to be string, so I can concatenate with the with the extension directly. I'll set the index parameter to false, and that's it. All right, so I'm going to terminate this session. I'm going to press F5 to run the script.
Now let's take a look. Oh, so here I'm getting an error. Let's take a look. Oh. Right, so I'll put a break right here. Now let me create the DFM option. And this one's okay. Oh, so it's, this line is giving me issue. Oh, this should be index. Let me try again. Okay, so here are the three CSV files. So let me open the first file. And let's do a quick comparison. So from Wushi 1, I should expect 29 records. And for Wushi 3, I should expect 49 records. So let me open the file. Yeah, so here's uh, record 49. All right, so this is something to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.